occasion of meeting Sito Senya, a uh, former soccer player, <laughs> former soccer player for uh, the University of Missouri. Let's redo that. <laughs> yeah, let's redo <reduce. laughs> it. Was... Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Milo and Amigos. Today I have the pleasure of talking with Sito Senya, the Spanish devil himself. He is a former pit soccer player here at the University of Pittsburgh, and we're just gonna let him give himself a little introduction and we'll get into it. You know, for all the viewers who know a little Spanish, we will have a little back and forth just for all y'all to oh, yeah. get some of that in. <laughs> vale. Well, hi, um, I'm Sito Sena, I'm from Spain, Valencia. Uh, I play soccer, I used to play soccer for Pitt for four years, and, and yeah, that's what I'm quite fun. Yeah, all right, there you go. <laughs> you studying anything? <laughs> are you? Yeah, um, what are you studying? Oh, sure, I'll say that. Yeah, why not? Cool, cool. Let me do it again. Okay. No, you're fine. I'm just, just say it. Well, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm a marketing major uh, and a BIS minor. And yeah, well, that's that's pretty much me right now. Um, Thank you for coming out here. So. Yeah, let's do let's do a couple of these questions. Let's start it off in English. Um, what is a moment that I mean? I'm sure you've had many, but now you're a senior or you're grad you're graduate school, mm -hmm. so you're finishing up completely now. You know, you're on to new things. What is a moment that you can look back on, like in your entire career? here at the university that you're proud of that, you know really stands out um uh, i mean honestly everything that i accomplished for like since i just got here i remember when i just when i got here in my first semester i thought that i knew english i knew a little bit of english and then i just came here and people start talking to me in english with their accent um with with their slang and all the stuff and i was I was wow, I was thinking how I'm gonna get better. Like I didn't see the process or the, like how I'm just gonna get better. Mm -hmm. And now I see myself back like right now and it's like I can be able to have like, a conversation, you know, yeah. a fluent conversation about whatever and that's 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 what I feel proud, you know, that my English yeah. got so much better. I think that's something to be very proud of, like to be able to like pick up another language mm -hmm. like now you can fluently that's so you get and also you know like um just living by yourself in another country in another culture that made me like learn a, a lot about myself a lot about other people i think also i'm very proud of like you know like i just left home and i had to start like doing everything at home to just like um keep myself in, 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 a, in a good way, you know? In mm -hmm. soccer also, it's just a lot of, it's a lot going on as a, a student athlete is like going to train, going to classes, uh, trying to stay on top of everything. It's, it's not easy sometimes, you know? And I feel like sometimes, well, not sometimes, most of the time since I've been here, I'm like just by myself, you know? And I don't have my parents close to me. I can, I call them and all yeah. this stuff over the week, but like, it's not the same, you know. It's not, yeah. You don't have your friends. You're like friends back home. You know, mm -hmm. you gotta make friends here. You gotta build those relationships with another language. language and another language. And it's something that I think is really, really big is when you talk one language versus another, you have a different. They say you're like a different personality mm -hmm. and everything with that because one also like you're limited to what you can say and like how articulate you are because it's not your say exactly. your first language so you might not be getting things off as you'd like mm -hmm. i feel like i i've had trouble no i totally agree with that, with that it's before. it's not like you have a completely different like personality mm -hmm. but this language is different in spain in spanish in, in and in english mm -hmm. you can have like you cannot have the same jokes in spanish mm -hmm. like, what you, you translate spanish? it like, 
I don't know, like if we're in a context where, I don't know, I just want to mess around with you, there's a lot of voice to change in Spanish that you can translate them in English. Mm -hmm. You know, you get to find the way to say it in English and sometimes takes time because you, you actually don't know, you know, you're yeah. trying to translate that and it's, it's hard. It's like, it's just difficult. It's just like, um, something that I found is everybody that has, you know, everybody that has swear words in their language thinks that their like their way is the best and i think it's because that's the way you grow up on that language mm -hmm. a lot of times and the combinations that you make are like more familiar with and like exactly. another language. that's like that's what happened like yeah so it's it's different wow i feel like that <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get another one Dígame el mejor y el peor uh, experiencia aquí en la universidad. Empezamos en español, ¿no? Sí, Estupendo. vamos a hacer claro. back and forth. Eh, bueno, eh, en Spanglish. <risa> no, no, de español es muy bueno, tío. Yo ya te lo he dicho. Eh, pues te diría que mi peor experiencia aquí ha sido la lesión que tuve. Eh, bueno, voy a contarte a nivel futbolístico, a nivel deportivo y a, sí, nivel, sí, sí, sí. Y a nivel personal, a nivel fuera del, del soccer. Sí, gracias. ¿Vale? Eh, la peor experiencia que he tenido aquí ha sido la lesión que tuve porque, bueno, me ha frenado un poco la carrera deportiva aquí y, y así que es verdad que al no estar con, con mi gente, mi círculo de amigos cerca, se hace más duro eh, en otro país también. Entonces, te diría que esa ha sido una experiencia muy dura y la otra experiencia fuera de, de, del, del soccer, te diría que, bueno, no sé si tú sabes esta historia, pero estábamos viviendo ay, dos años, hace dos años, en Alicuip Street. Uh -huh. eh, yo vivía ahí porque me encontré en casa con Dexter, eh, Chandler, at that time, um, who else? ¿Qué año? Timmy Townsend. Eh, creo que fue el... The sophomore? 2019. 2019, yeah, my sophomore. Okay. My second. Mm -hmm. Bueno, pues estaba ahí y, y yo escuchaba ratas correr entre las... Between the walls, like, correr en, corriendo ahí, uh -huh. corriendo como si estuviera jugando, ¿no? <laughs> y entonces nada, yo les comentaba a mis compañeros de equipo, oye, tenemos ratas aquí. Y ellos decían, bueno, yo no las escucho, yo no, yo no las veo, tal. Entonces a ellos les daba más o menos igual. Hasta que un día... Estoy durmiendo y a las 4 de la mañana no. me salta una rata a la rodilla aquí me despierto. No, vale. no, puede ser, no puede ser, no puede ser, no puede ser. No, 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 no encendí ni la luz. Moví la pierna, saltó y yo dije, no voy a, no quiero no, verla. No, no quiero, no quiero verla. verla. Y eso fue un momento muy duro para mí porque ahora lo, lo hablo con experiencia y con gracia y, y no tengo problema en contarlo, pero en ese momento... Estar en un sitio donde hay ratas, donde eh, la casa era muy mala, uff, te hace y, plantarte el volverte a casa. ¿La próxima día que hicieron tus compañeros? Eh, bueno, pues ahí ya, yo al día siguiente llamo a los entrenadores y les digo, oye, estas, estas condiciones de vida no son, no son normales, no son dignas de, de cualquier persona. Uh -huh. y, y entonces... Entonces ahí ya sí que se empezaron a poner más en contacto con nosotros entrenadores los, y nos buscaron una solución, de, nos movieron a uh -huh. otros sitios, pero fue una experiencia que, <risa> que vamos, que... Entonces llamaron al Landor, eh, el, el chico arregló uh -huh. pues, los huecos y todo eso, pero fue... ¿Solo, fue, solo fue ratas o tuviste otras cosas como no, cucarachas? que yo sepa solo ratas. Ah, okay. Luego ahí... Habría de todo. <risa> Esas son mis dos experiencias. Fue wow. así <risa> brutal. Aún, sí, aún no toda la rata aquí. En, en es el... algo que es muy chistoso, pero uh, para mí, porque estoy viendo a ti. No, ahora, <risa> ahora es gracioso, pero en su momento yo estaba que, que me, quería ir a, bueno, me quería ir a España. Me quería ir a España. Y dije, ¿qué hago aquí? Además, estaba, era en un sprint que además, pues no entrenas y no juegas, entonces estás ahí pues un poco diciendo uf, no era un, el, el sprint no es un semestre fácil, ¿sabes? que llevar mm -hmm. 
Y lo de la rata fue, vamos, que yo, yo me quería empaquetar las cosas e irme a España porque no había vivido una situación tan lamentable en mi vida. Pero, pero sí, esas son mis dos experiencias tan malas. Yeah, they had a rat problem in his house. Uh -huh. Sophomore, sophomore year. <laughs> My sophomore year. Exactly. Oh, that's that was gross. Insane. All right. So, how did you get started playing soccer in general? Well, I guess. I mean, is it, I just everybody's playing back home. Everybody's playing back home. home. I liked it. I like to spend a lot of time with my friends. We used to go like to tournaments. Mm -hmm. um, I guess you don't you don't you just think about playing. it. You just like always. Yeah, I've been playing since I'm four, or five years old. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, you just like you just see you know, the sport. Or, like you go to tournaments, you, you spend a lot of time with with your teammates. Mm -hmm. That's that's a big part. You What's know? your like favorite team to like play for growing up? Well, I, I was pretty lucky with all the teams that I played for. Um, you know, but like the one that I that I was that I remember with the best memories ever, I think it's when I was in Valencia. Mm -hmm. Because the, our team, like, we were really good friends. We, I still been friends with a, a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And I think that says so everything, you know, is keeping the relationship since you're like 12, 13. Even yeah. if you're not with them, you know, uh, I remember those, I've been there for three years. And I remember them like, they were like, the, like really good. Like soccer wise and like, um, With the teammates, you mm -hmm. know, that was that was something that I still remember with a lot of love, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll say that's that's my top. Uh, that's mm -hmm. sweet. Uh, that's literally the same question. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um. <coughs> ¿Cuál es tu princesa de Disney favorita? Oh. Yo no sabía. Pues la verdad es que... No sabes, no conoces a ninguna de esas princesas. Sí, las conozco, pero no... Soy más de otros dibujos animados. Eso de cuando era pequeño prefería ver los Simpsons, prefería ver Phineas y Fer. Ah, más ok, así. ok. Uh -huh. No, pero... Es una pregunta. <risa> bueno, uh, ¿hay alguna experiencia que quieres regresar? Que me oh, que quieres, gustaría volver a... a si sí, te a, quieres volver a una memoria y empezar de nuevo a ese punto. Hombre, uh, pues te diría que me gustaría volver a mi etapa en el Real Madrid porque... Ahí entrené un par de veces con, con el primer equipo y había un ambiente, había un nivel espectacular de fútbol, era, era brutal. Uh -huh. Entonces sí que es verdad que me gustaría volver a ese tiempo para realmente apreciar dónde estaba, en plan en, en qué club tan importante y tan grande en este país estaba, o sea, del mundo. Uh -huh. Y es algo que dices, bueno, pues, bueno, en cualquier equipo, tanto en el Valencia, como en el Madrid, como en el Villarreal, pero sí que es verdad que, que bueno, el, el, el entrenar con el primer equipo de Madrid, entrenar con gente tan, tan buena y tan brutal en el mundo del fútbol, uh -huh. pues es una experiencia que, que no todo el mundo puede tenerla, ¿sabes? Y uh -huh. tuve la suerte de poder hacerlo y, y bueno, es algo que, que lo tengo ahí, que, que me encantaría, vamos, a quien no, vaya. Uh -huh. What's something from that experience that you took here? Well, like the experience of what, like, like you know, just being in an atmosphere, like playing with like players on like the, something that I take from here, from career. there, like, well, I'll say, I mean, the level, the level, the fast, uh, mm -hmm. how fast you have to think before, like, uh, mm -hmm. you get the ball, like how. It's, it's, it's another, it's a completely important. Y el nivel entre tu equipo ahí y aquí en P, ¿cómo es, qué son las diferencias? No, la diferencia es, oh. um, well, 
the thing is, um, there's people who got a sign that they're gonna be so talented. Yeah. And so there was a lot of talent there. Like we have good talent here at Pitt, mm -hmm. but um, there's some people that they just like have talent, you know, like and, and you can you can do anything with that. Mm -hmm. But also like they're also in, in a good spot, you know, like um, they they live in Spain, which is a country where the soccer development is really good, it's really high. So if you have talent and you're in a, if you're in a, an academy like Real Madrid, like you have a lot of chances to, to you know, become a, a professional. Mm -hmm. If you work, I mean, talent doesn't mean anything without work. So yeah. they have to be together. But like, yeah, that's that's the difference that I can see. There's like, I feel like here they work a lot, but there's less talent, you know? Uh, so that I would say that's, that's the main difference. The mm -hmm. talent from the players. And all this stuff. What's something in Spain, like culturally, that you wish they had here? Me, I think it's like the the dancing. The dancing. Yeah. Oh. Like or like the music. Some like sometimes mm -hmm. you, know, you could use some Latin music. Mm -hmm. No, no, in Spain they we listen a lot of Latin music. Yeah. There's also like a, a lot of um, in the south you have el flamenco, mm -hmm. which is like a type of dance. Like mm -hmm. there's a lot of like dancing. Over there. Do you do you dance well when you're? Uh, yeah. no, do you know okay. flamenco? I do know. I don't know. Really? No, no, I don't know how to dance it. Oh, okay, okay. It's 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 not as it's as yeah hard. yeah. I've seen a I've seen like I remember in Spanish class in high school we had to yeah. watch videos mm -hmm. on it. So, I can yeah. see that. But now if there's something that I would bring here, I'll say the fucking weather. Not the weather. <laughs> maybe, I'll say the food. Honestly, the because food. You can have sunny days here. Like in summer, it's not bad. Yeah, it's well, like it rains. No, I mean, if I have here, to test to bring everything, I'll bring like the weather and the food, you know? Okay, yeah. yeah that's, cool. that's. It's just bring home. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but that's the things that I miss the most, like, you know, talking about the differences. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like there's not much you can do about the weather here. It's, it is what it is. You yeah. just gotta get through it. Yeah. But it's sad. It's like it's hard, you know. Like mm, coming from coming from a, like a place where you have a lot of sand and you have activities to do every time, you know. Like and then coming here in the spring, oh, and like seeing this snow every single day, negative ten degrees. Uh, <laughs> it, it may, it's hard, you know, because it's like okay, wait. It wears you down. Like you think about a plan to do with your friends, what you can do. Yeah, I mean, you heard it like you, you it was raining to the cinema. It's not that bad. I mean, it was it's okay, but like you can go to the cinema. You can go like to like indoors places, but like you know, unless you don't want to, you want to go out. So, what's your favorite thing to do outdoors? At pit, uh, back out. Well, it's like staying on the beach, like with my friends, making mm -hmm. like a we call it like a paella. It's a it's a main dish. You know, yeah. we like the culture in food, um, about food in Spain. It's also it's like a reason to just hang out with your friends and like you know we, we like it's a main thing in Spain in, on a Sundays. You just meet up with your family or even with your friends to make a paella, which is like a main dish. Mm -hmm. And whoever's the best, just the best chef, he just makes it, and the other people just hang out there. Like they talk about their the week, you know, they have a couple of drinks over there, a couple of beers, you know, and that's how you spend your Sundays, you know, instead of like being at home and like, and then because it's the weather, you know, it doesn't help. So that's one thing that it's for, like, we use the food as an excuse to see each other and, and, and hang out with people, you know, mm -hmm. which is, I, mean, it's, I like it a lot. Yeah, wish we could do that here. Mm -hmm. When it is nice, you're right. You know, there are some nice days. There mm -hmm. are, you know, you're gonna go out. Mm -hmm. So like when, like, when you have days off in the summer here, what do you guys do? Like, you know, you're probably with like soccer guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Team. Well, I, love, I like the natural a lot and I like to go for a walk. So um, last, this past summer, we won a couple of us and a couple of the women soccer uh, players. Um, we went to Ohio Pound. Oh, really? The, the like white water rafting? 
We went to bike. Oh, oh wait, maybe bike. I'm thinking of something else. Wait, what? Do they have white water rafting in Ohio Pass? Yeah, I think oh, they do. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. No, but we were like a little bit more chill because we are still practicing, you know, also yeah, yeah. we did, just didn't get hurt. Yeah. Didn't want to get hurt. So we went there to Ohio Park. We spent the day. We went to we get into the river. It was so nice, you know. Mm-hmm. Like also, I don't know, hang out in Shelly, you know, throwing like uh, throwing some spike ball sí. and stuff like that. Todo eso estás practicando. Por el equipo. No, ahora no. Ahora ya no. Esta semana ya no. Porque viajan y y no. ¿Y cómo, cómo, cómo sientes? Pues bien, eh, la verdad es que, es que no quiero hablar, esto corta la verdad, ¿no? Y we're back. Estamos a vuelta. <risa> sí, vamos. Con las cortadas, ¿eh? Tú te entras Party,